Good morning. Today marks the start of the Fort Plain Free Library Summer Reading Program, Imagine Your Story. We're excited that you have signed up through Read Squared, and we wanted to highlight some of the aspects of the program, as well as to share information about related websites that we'll be using this summer. Before I do a brief tutorial, however, I wanted to let you know about something very special your children will receive because they registered. This spring, we received a grant from the Yurden Foundation that has made it possible for us to create 300 age-appropriate art kits that we will be distributing to each registrant this month. Each kit contains things like paint, brushes, sketchbooks, or construction paper, easy grip crayons, scissors, glue, things like that. Things that each child may keep. The kits also contain a small, unlined, fairy and gnome journal as well, to go along with the Mohawk Valley Library System's fairies and gnomes imagine their homes activities. We'll talk more about them shortly. We will contact you to let you know when you can pick up your free kits. And now for the tutorial. From now until the end of July, Read Squared will contain almost all of our summer reading program activities. You can access stories, reading lists, mini games, badges, and missions through the Read Squared app on your phone, your tablet, or your computer. We'll be constantly adding events, programs, and activities throughout the month. So check the site often to log your reading, complete missions, and more. Let's take a look at the program. This is the home page for Read Squared. Our site is Fort Plain Free Library, ny12.readsquared.com. And I've entered my login information and my password, and I'm going to click the link for login. And it's going to bring up the home page. And as you can see, I've already designed an avatar for myself over on the right side, but I can change that and add different colors clothes. I can change my hair color, my style. You can do that for each member of your family. When you're done, just click save the changes. And then we're back to the home page. If you ever need to come back to the home page, it's underneath the logo of the library and it's a little house. So if you click on that, it will bring you to the home page. Next to the home page is the events calendar, which is highlighted now. If you click on that, you'll see that we have a lot of events that are already on the calendar for the month of July. Check back here often because we're going to be adding lots of things. We're going to be adding events that are um, available through the Fairies and Gnomes activities. We'll be adding more story times. So um, you can access those by clicking on the events calendar. I'm going to go back to the home page now where it says family members. If you click on the drop down menu, you'll see that everyone you signed up for in your family is here. I made up some family members. Um, this one is for the toddler preschool group. This is what the um, kindergarten through fifth grade group looks like. Uh, obviously you can change your avatar. And this is the group for the teens. And then of course we have the adult group. As you'll see, there's badges. The black and white ones are badges that haven't been completed. The ones that are color are the ones that you've completed already. Um, you get a badge automatically for registering. Um, if you scroll down the page, you'll see other badges that can be earned through activities in the missions. We're going to click on the missions on the sidebar, the link that says missions. Each grade level has different missions that can be completed. The missions are activities that usually have a story, but they might just be activities. The first one we have in this particular group is Kids Alphabet Walk. You can do them in any order you want. You don't have to follow the order that they are on the page, but we're going to start with this just so you can see how it works. I'm going to click on Kids Alphabet Walk. We can go for a walk and look for letters of the alphabet all around you. For example, two branches on the ground might form the letter T. The goal is to find the letters without having to move items around to create the letter. Take a picture of each letter and upload below. 
to do the activity, you click on go to mission. And then for each activity in the mission, you can click on complete now. And for this one, it wants you to upload an image of something you found that looks like an A. When you're done, you click complete activity and you can move on to the next. And when you're all done, you've completed all of them, you can go back. And if you've completed all of the 26 activities for this particular item, you'll earn your badge. You don't have to finish them all at the same time. If it's partially completed, then um, you can come back and finish it another time. We've got stories. We've got some listen to the stories. We've got puzzles and riddles and virtual escape rooms. A virtual escape room really is um, a game where you solve puzzles and riddles to get to the end of it. They're fun. We've got a whole bunch of them. We'll be adding them as they go through the summer. For example, in this particular um, escape room, we've got Goldilocks and the Three Bears. All right, you click on, gold, you click on the link for Goldilocks and the Three Bears. And there will be some text. For example, here it says there were three bears who lived in a small house in the forest. One day the bears made porridge for breakfast, but it was too hot to eat. They weren't sure what to do. Will you help them decide? And then you asked your child, do you want to throw the porridge away or would you like to go for a nice walk in the woods while it cools down? Let's say they say, throw the porridge away. We click on that and click next. And it says, no way. The bears love porridge way too much to throw it in the garbage. Let's try that one again. And then you click on back and go, let's try go for a nice walk in the woods while it cools down and click on next. And it takes us to another page. And this particular activity has 30 pages. And by the time you're done, you'll have earned a badge for that particular activity. Um, you may have to, some of these programs, you may have to um, sign back in to read squared because they're in separate links. In this particular one, it goes back. Um, there are other missions. There's mini games. On the right side, we have stories that are in the application that you can read with your children. Um, most of these are read alouds. On the left side, there are age appropriate learning games that you can play with your child. Story time, lowercase letters. It wants us to match the letters. There's a U, so we want to find one that looks like it. And it's going, when you do it correctly, it's going to reveal a coloring page underneath. And then you can print off the color page. And we can go back. We have um, your badges page. We also can click on the list for reading lists, the link for reading lists. If you click on go to the book list, it'll take you to the Mohawk Valley Library Systems um, card catalog. The Fort Plain Free Library is a member of the Mohawk Valley Library System. So you can see what we have in our library catalog. You're able to access books from Mohawk Valley Library System as well as the Southern Adirondack Library System. In this case, if we wanted to read Cinders, a Chicken Cinderella, we can see that it's a book. We click on availability, and these are all the libraries that it's available in. We can get more information about it. If you want to order it, you click on place request. It'll ask for your library card number and your password. And if you don't have a library card or um, a password, that's okay because we have books in here that you can access without having to, you go through our, our catalog. Um, these are actual books that you can pick up at our curbside service at the library. We also have other materials that are available to you and I'll go through those in a second. Um, let's go back to our home page. If you want to log books and reading that you've done, you click on logging. You'll get the log activity feature. Click on log reading. We have several different ways that you can log the reading that you've done. You can click on, and log minutes. You can click and log the names of the books. Um, there are different ways. And for each book that you read, you get points. The goal is to get 1,000 points over the month. 
you can get them for the missions. You can get points for reading, book reviews, which give you points. Another tab that takes you to your book reviews. And that's basically an overview of Read Squared.